Do you plan on rolling back the opening of infantry positions to women based on your previous statements? Senator, I've never come into any job with a, uh, an agenda, of, a preformed agenda of changing anything. I come in assuming the people before me uh, deserve respect for the job that they did and the decisions they made. I asked specifically because uh, in previous speeches, uh, one from the Marines Memorial Club in San Francisco on April 16, 2015, you were asked specifically about whether we should open infantry positions and special forces combat jobs to women. Uh, and you said um, you did not think it was a good idea. Um, you said when you mix, you know that when you mix arrows, when you mix affection for one another that could be manifested sexually, I don't care if you go anywhere in history, you will not find where this has worked, never has it worked. And then in a previous speech on April 23rd, 2014, you said the idea of putting women in there is not setting them up for success. Could we find a woman, woman who could run fast enough? Of course we could. Could we find a few who could do the pull-ups? Of course we could, that's not the point. That's not the point at all. It's whether or not you want to mix arrows. Uh, and so in both of these question and answer sessions, you said you do not think you could do it. Have you changed your view on this issue? Senator, I was not in a position to go back into government when I made those statements. There are many policies that have been enacted uh, over many years, including the years since I've been on active duty. Uh, I'm coming in with the understanding that I lead the Department of Defense and if someone brings me a problem, then I'll look at it. But I'm not coming in looking for problems. I'm looking for ways to get the department so it's at the most lethal uh, stance. And in that regard, it's all about military readiness. Uh, I'm looking for military readiness and, and what we can do in that regard. Do you plan to oppose women serving in these combat roles? I have no plan to oppose women in any aspect of our military. In 2003, I had hundreds of Marines who happened to be women serving in my 23,000-person uh, Marine division. Uh, and this is uh, 10 years before I retired, and I put them right into the front lines alongside everyone else. So you no longer believe that Eros is a problem when men and women are serving together? I believe that if we are going to do uh, execute policies like this. We had better train our leaders so they can handle all things that come from a policy that's decided in this town. Uh, that's our responsibility to train our young leaders who are going to be dealing with factors that uh, perhaps their fathers did not have to deal with. Um, in your book, uh, Warriors and Citizens, and the interviews that you did afterwards, you were talking about the disconnect between civilians um, and the civilian elite's view of the military and the military's view of, yourself, of itself. And you cite various policy debates that you think there's a disconnect, and two that you, you cite, you said, in recent policy debates, such as those about allowing homosexuals to serve openly, retaining a residual force in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, cutting military spending, assigning women to combat units, uh, and other items. Um, you believe that the American public is not nearly as concerned as it should be that the changes to military policies are accruing risk to our forces. We fear that an uninformed public is permitting political leaders to impose an accretion of social conventions that are diminishing the combat power of our military, disregarding our war fighting practitioners advice. Do you believe that uh, openly serving homosexuals along with women in combat units is undermining our force? Senator, my belief is that we have to stay focused on a military that's so lethal that on the battlefield it will be the enemy's longest day and their worst day when they run into that force. Uh, I believe that uh, military service is a touchstone for patriots of whatever stripe. I mean, it's simply the way that they demonstrate their, their commitment. And I believe that right now the policies that are in effect, uh, unless a service chief brings something to me where there's a, a problem that's been proven, then I'm not going in with an idea that I'm going to review these and, and right away start rolling something back. Do you believe that allowing LGBT Americans to serve in the military or women in combat is undermining our lethality? Uh, frankly, Senator, I've never cared much about two consenting adults and who they go to bed with.
So the answer is no. Senator, my, con my concern is on the readiness of the force to fight and to make certain that it's at the top of its game so when we go up against an enemy, the criteria for everything we do in the military up until that point when we put our young men and women across the line of departure is they will be at their most lethal stance. That's my obligation as I uh, move into this job. So and that's what, how I will look at the uh, at the. Uh, thank, you, thank you. And for the record, I'd like in writing whether you believe a gender. Understood, sir. Just for the, the record, senator's you time that has question. expired. Thank you.